what the symbol is. That would be a pentagram. And what do you think it means? Uh, things are coming to mind, but I don't feel confident in my knowledge. First guess is that it's a satanic symbol. I think it's very interesting. I see it everywhere. Uh, it's a star. Israel, maybe? It looks like it has Hinduism in it. Paganism, kind of related to the devil. Evil. That's the devil star. It all started about 5,400 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia, where the pentacle symbolized imperial power extending to all corners of the world. They must have been pretty smart in Mesopotamia because over the course of the pentacle's journey, it has touched every continent and every religion in the world. You guys remember Pythagoras, right? On his travels through Egypt and Babylon, he encountered the symbol and began using it as a sign to mean soundness, wholeness, and perfection. Pythagoras' pentacle functions as a sort of alchemical computer. The pentacle is inscribed with the letters EI for sun and fire, A for air, U for water, G for earth, and I for spirit. Over time, the symbol migrated. So far, so good, until the poor fellow soldiers of Christ, also known as the Knights Templar, who were among the wealthiest and most powerful in the Western Christian military order during the Crusades. They killed tens of thousands of Muslims and Jews. Later, the church turned on them after it was discovered that one of their headquarters was shaped like a pentacle, and allegations came out that during their initiation rituals, they were forced to spit on the cross, deny Christ, make out with each other, and worst of all, worship the idol Baphomet. The church then made displaying and carrying the pentacle grounds for death, which resulted in a death toll in the thousands, predominantly witches and pagans. Later on, a famous magician by the name of Eliphas Levi started his spiritual journey studying to become a Catholic priest, but left because he fell in love with his first wife. On his later travels through England, he met Edward Bueller Lighton, who was a Rastacrucianist. Uh, that sounds like, uh, like fantasy, like witchcraft, that sort of stuff. Rosicrucianism teaches a combination of occultism and hermeticism and Jewish mysticism and Christian Gnosticism. Edward inspired him to write Transcendental Magic and its Doctrines and Rituals, in which he wrote, A reverse pentagram with two points projecting upwards is a symbol of evil and attracts sinister forces because it overturns the proper order of things and demonstrates the triumph of matter over spirit. Oh, it matters which way it's supposed to be. Supposed to be? Yeah. Jeff, uh, I just want to know, what do you think of this symbol? Uh, that looks like something off a Rush album. Okay. What do you think of it when it's flipped like this? Do you know? The devil. So, all that to say, he was the first to equate the pentagram with Baphomet. What do you think of when you see the pentagram? I don't know. I don't know the actual meaning of it. I mean, I've, I think I've seen it before, but I couldn't tell you exactly which film it was used in. I've seen it in probably movies or graffiti, stuff like that, but I've never looked into it or know what it means. I think of uh, the anime Full Metal Alchemist. It reminds me of my childhood. Not that the pentagram reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Today, Baphomet inside the pentagram is the Church of Satan's copyrighted logo. And the regular pentagram is used by the Wiccans and the Pagans. It's on the Moroccan country flag. The Freemasons use it, and even the Mormons use it. I don't think anything gets more diverse than that. Something the Mormons and the Satanists have in common? So, you see, the Mesopotamians really knew what they were talking about. The pentacle really has imperially touched every corner of the religious world. Mm -hmm.